Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Pro Assist Controls. And in today's video, we're going to continue our discussion on Rosemount's differential pressure level transmitters, specifically Rosemount's 3051 SAL level transmitter. In the last episode, we discussed the use and benefits of a seal assembly when we utilize a DP level transmitter. Today, we're going to talk about the two different options we have with seal assemblies, where to use them, and some of the components that you may find throughout them. So if we take a look at the first option we have, it is known as the two seal assembly. And it's called this because there are two seals, go figure. And the reason we are gonna utilize two seals is because we are trying to measure level on a vessel which has some sort of head pressure or a pressurized vessel. And the reason we utilize two seals, as we discussed in previous videos, is we wanna connect the low side of this DP transmitter up to the top of that vessel, thereby eliminating the effect of head pressure on that DP transmitter. The other option is going to be our single seal assembly, and this is going to be used in applications where we have vessels which are open to the atmosphere or are not pressurized. How can we use this? Well, the low side of this DP transmitter is exposed to the atmosphere, which will correlate and match what is in the vessel. Therefore, we can eliminate the effect of the atmosphere pressure on this DP transmitter. So those are the two options and where you would use each one. Now let's look at some of the specific components throughout. So both are gonna have some sort of process connection. On the left, you see we have flange seals, and on the right, we have a clamp connection for a hygienic application. Depending on what you got, we have something available. The other piece is the diaphragm, and this is what we talked about in the last video, and that's what's gonna flex based off of the pressure that is exerted on it, and then correlate that, translate that back to the DP transmitter. On the left, you can see that we have one of these flanges directly mounted and one of them remotely mounted. And you notice it's remotely mounted because we have that capillary, like we talked about in the last video, versus on the single seal assembly, it is directly mounted to whatever connection we have there. The next piece that's also available with some of our process connections is gonna be what's called a lower housing. And this helps when aligning the flange onto the actual vessel. But the other component that's really important here is it also comes available with a flushing connection. Now you can imagine having these seals on your vessel may incorporate some buildup over time and we want to reduce that buildup in order to have a reliable and accurate measurement. So we installed these flushing connections and it allows for exactly that, for some piping to be mounted up, allowing us to flush out and clean any sort of debris that may pile up in front of these seals, ultimately leaving you with a better and improved measurement. And those are the basics of our DP level transmitters, specifically our seal assemblies. Should you have any questions about DP level transmitters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.